do 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 five hours in hello everybody and welcome to five hours in my name is chase and right now i'm five hours into earthbound beginnings the 2015 wii u localization of the 1989 nes game so I played Earthbound when it released on Wii U Virtual Console, because my friend recommended it to me, and now I love that game. Quite a lot. And I've started a playthrough of Mother 3, and even though I'm not very far into it, and I've put it on hold for quite some time now, I'm really enjoying it as well. So when I was watching the pre-show for the Nintendo World Championship and saw that this game was finally being released in North America, I knew I had to buy it. I mainly bought it out of series loyalty though. As much as I was glad that Earthbound Beginnings made it to America, Mother 3 was the one that I, and pretty much everyone else, really wanted. So I figured I could give the original a try and also support the endeavors of the Mother series in the West. So I went in knowing that I probably wouldn't like this game as much as I liked Earthbound or as much as I am liking Mother 3, but I didn't anticipate how much I would actually hate my 5 hours of playing through this game. Let's start with the story, as that's what most people would look for when it comes to an RPG. And the story that I did encounter was incredibly bare bones. Nintendo needs to collect the 8 melodies to play for the Queen of Magicant, but in my 5 hours I got 3 of them, and you get the first one within minutes of booting up the game. Not only that, but most of the quirky charm that gives Earthbound and Mother 3 their personality and appeal is missing from Earthbound Beginnings. Granted, the game has its moments, but most of the time the characters are either incredibly dull or incredibly confusing. But the story was not the only thing that got better as the series progressed. Let's talk about the gameplay. Earthbound Beginnings runs on the same battle engine as Earthbound. Ninten has a physical weapon as well as various PSI moves that use PP. However, Ninten doesn't have any offensive PSI attacks, so Ninten can only damage enemies using his basic attack. And until you get another party member, which I was this close to doing before my time ran out, Every battle you fight will be a combination of using your basic attack and healing moves. Earthbound Beginnings is also sporting an auto battle system, and it seems to be on the same wavelength too, and that's why I used it for most of my random battles, unlike in later installments where the combat was engaging enough that I did it myself. And you will be fighting a lot of battles, because Earthbound Beginnings is sporting random battles. Now, random battles aren't necessarily a negative thing when they're done right, but they're done very poorly in this game. You can very easily finish a battle, take one step, and find yourself in another battle multiple times in a row. And since this is an Earthbound, you cannot instantly defeat enemies who are too weak to be a challenge. You'll spend the time fighting them anyway, since attempting to flee from battle is also risky, because Earthbound's rolling HP meter is also gone. And it all just boils down to this. Earthbound's Beginnings is a frustratingly archaic, generic NES RPG. It's pretty generic and uninteresting to actually play. It just feels old. Nintendo in the overworld feels like he eats your button inputs half the time, and the game feels like they wanted to have twice the text to make everything clearer and more vibrant, but couldn't because of the NES's limitations. A few things I want to say before I wrap up and give my final thoughts. Earthbound Beginnings looks ugly. All of the characters on the overworld are ugly, the enemies are uninspired, the battle screen is so absolutely dull, the game has so many perspective issues when it comes to ledges, all of the environments look the same so it's really easy to get lost, I could go on and on. Uh, the music is great, but it gets incredibly repetitive fast, especially since it starts over each time you leave a battle. I didn't think I would get sick of Pollyanna or the Magicant theme, but it happened, and it happened fast. And don't get me started about how sick I am of the battle music. Some of the puzzles can be very confusing. There's one point when you're in Magicant, and you're trying to get into the Queen's Castle, which is being guarded by three men. One of them says he'll let you through if you solve his riddle. Now he's standing in front of a patch of weeds, some red and some green. You can pick up the red ones, and they have no explained purpose, so I assume that they had to relate to the riddle in some way, but they have absolutely n nothing to do with getting in the castle. I spent about an hour grinding enemies while filling my in inventory with useless weeds, when the answer to the riddle was to read the man's mind while he's thinking of the answer to the riddle that he never actually told you to alligators! Ugh. Uh, what I'm saying here, overall, is that if you want to experience the Mother series for the first time, stay the hell away from this game and play Earthbound instead. Prepare for a boring, confusing, and I almost forgot to mention difficult game. Prepare to do a lot of grinding in this game, it's pretty much required to survive. Earthbound Beginnings is a game that's pretty much irrelevant now. 
The true version of the series was realized in its other installments, and this game has very few redeeming qualities that are not worth its shortcomings. If it weren't for this video, I would have stopped playing after my first half hour of this game. This game physically drained me every time I played it. I am not finishing this game. Hell, I'm probably not going to touch the thing ever again. Exercise extreme caution with this one, but I would say that it is not worth the purchase in most cases. Don't let this deter you from trying the other Mother games, as they are leaps and bounds better than this. And that's really all I have to say about it. Uh, my name is Chase, this has been 5 hours in. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully I'll be less mad. Do 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 This is our and Slate song